the only thing that's really going on this week is is this video. Let me see if, if this is working. Getting your COVID vaccine, Elmo. Oh, yeah. This video. Of, I don't know. It's... Yeah, we can do it. It's just a, it's a PSA. It's not. It's a PSA that PSA. is good. And I'm not going to. Yeah, it's, it's good. I'm not going to say a fucking word about what the content of the vaccine is. And I can't wait until we have video because this is absolutely a video I want to play. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can't get this. So there's a, there's a PSA of Elmo getting the COVID vaccine, but he's with his dad in his dad's house. Mm-hmm. And first of all, Elmo didn't need a father. Right. You know, Elmo was fine. No, it was like, who fucked a lady? Yeah, exactly. It's like, what? And God, Elmo. Yeah, that was not necessary for Elmo to have a father. It's also, it's like, okay, if Elmo has a father, where the fuck has he been for 60 years? Yeah, where has he been? Where has he been? He's a fucking deadbeat. And then the way they designed Elmo's father. I mean, like, uh, look, that you couldn't find him. a little pinch, but it was okay. (laughs) Elmo was really glad to have Daddy and Baby David there with him. Who the fuck is Baby David? Who's baby David? Yeah, he's got a little brother. Now. Elmo's got this entire family. But look at his dad. I can't mm-hmm. tell you how much I hate this fucking guy. They gave him orange hair. This guy's got two types of red hair. Baby David is uh, Elmo's br- half brother. His, his dad met a stripper in Panama City. Well, Florida. listen to his voice. Let's. See, I'll let you drink him in for a second, <laughs> and then let's hear. I had a lot of questions about Elmo getting the COVID vaccine. Oh, he's... was it safe? <laughs> Was it the right decision? We gotta have him <laughs> sing our theme song. So I could make the right choice. <laughs> I learned that Elmo getting vaccinated. So he was, he's like this fucking like, mm-hmm. like Nashville loser. Yeah, yeah. He's got like a soul patch and a bowling shirt. And he just lives on the Reba set. <laughs> yeah. And he's just a, like a, a father that has not been in Elmo's life until apparently, I guess last year during the Black Lives Matter protests. That's when they added he him. He showed up to explain racism to Elmo. Right, because the negative stereotype that Elmo doesn't have a, a father present. Mm-hmm. Right. But look at this, just this like... George Floyd had to die for that. No chance. I used to live with a guy that looked like Elmo's dad. Yeah, he looks like shit. This guy's a fucking loser. Yeah, dude. he is a loser. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Elmo's got much more of a pronounced chin. From his mother. It's the best way to keep himself, our friends, neighbors, and everyone else healthy and enjoying the things they love. Oh, Daddy, oh, Elmo and baby David have a question. Oh. Can we have a hug? Oh, come <laughs> here, son. Uh, oh, baby David is... Oh, son, come here. I couldn't be more proud of you, Elmo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been down here living with my music partner, Eric, for the last 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, have you and Eric written any songs? Uh, uh, mm, yeah, uh, yeah, we worked on a couple of things. Uh, we got a couple of things going. Can you name one of the songs you and Eric came up with? Uh, you know, I mean, a lot of it's just kind of a work in progress. Yeah. But you and Eric have been living together for 25 years. It's not, yeah, it's not ready for the world to see. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, some folks, Elmo, they have music partners and, um... Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? Why don't we do another hug, Elmo? Why don't we just have another hug, real quick? <laughs> yeah, and I looked it up because I I know I, I just I don't know why this Elmo's father pisses me off because I stopped watching Sesame Street a couple of years ago. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I've, I've like, kind of been how out many years ago was it? <laughs> <laughs> Elmo's dad, Louie. Sorry, I'm trying to find the video of of. Louie explaining to Elmo the Black Lives Matter protest. Oh, we got to hear that. Because they do it all over Zoom. It's like, like Louie... Like, can't be in the same he's room. He's not in the same room. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, what the fuck? Oh, I can't come what back to our family it? until and that one's even you more, get the vaccine. That one's always more annoying because, like... <laughs> Sesame Street already did, like, race stuff, like, perfectly. They were fun. That's how Sesame oh, Street. Yeah. That's how Sesame Street started. You go back to the seventies. They have like Nina Simone on singing songs. Yeah, and the, and the whole the show is about like, like living in the in the city in where the city, there are yeah. a lot of different kind of people. There's like yeah, there's like kind of class awareness. There's racial awareness. Mm-hmm. But like I don't know who the fuck took over Sesame Street. But now it's just it's delivered like a like a like an HR meeting for. Mm-hmm. It's like these are like which. It, yeah, it's very stilted. It feels like a workplace kind of instructional video. It's literally over a Zoom meeting with his estranged Cajun father, mm-hmm. whoever the fuck this guy is. And he's oh, like, so well, apparently Elmo, they re- you see what? They replaced uh, a mustache with a soul patch. Oh, and he has a, he has a beard. Her name is May. 
This is his wife. But that's not Elmo's mother. I guess it's his new mom. Yeah. There's an episode of Sesame Street from the 90s where some stalker places an anonymous phone call to the young white woman and the young Hispanic man on the show who went to see a movie together. And he's like, I saw you at the movie theater and I'm disgusted. Really? And, uh, and then they're like freaking out about it. And they have to explain it to Telly, who's an adult. But a Telly's, te- that, one, that one works a lot better because Telly is an alcoholic. He's just a who's Telly. Telly's just a drunk that gets like he gets fucked up off milk constantly. You do know a lot about Sesame Street. I told you I watched it until probably probably the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> you got too woke for you? No, I didn't get too woke. I mean, I figured I outgrew it. I yeah, turned yeah, thirty. Too <laughs> <laughs> it's thirty years old. <laughs> you got to grow up sometime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. No, they already did this shit well, but yeah, the Zoom meeting one. Sorry, I thought it'd be able... This is where we get a real producer, and they can pull stuff up immediately. Yeah. And we can go through these segments. I thought it'd be more fun to, to go into to Elmo's dad, who uh, really bothers me for some reason. Yeah, they changed his appearance, including giving him a different hairstyle and facial hair changes. A goatee rather than a mustache and a new wardrobe. Mm-hmm. However, the older mustachioed Louis design was seen in Elmo's potty time. Yeah. <laughs> Elmo's. P- Imagine the guy who's writing this. I assume it's not you. No, it's not Muppet me. Wiki. There you go. Yes, this is she. What? What are you talking about? How dare you say so? Who is this? No, who is this anyway? What makes you think you can just call up This is also too back when everyone on Sesame Street was from Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. You know. It, was, it had more New York flavor. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. what Sesame Street was. It used to be a New York show. Yeah. yeah. No, Sesame Street, it's all Zoom meetings. <laughs> it's for Google employees. That's yeah. who Sesame Street is for. They took it away from us. Yeah. That's why I stopped watching Sesame Street. It's because it's not about New York anymore. Now it's a... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay. the main the main character used to be the city of New York. Mm. Something like that. Who is? Hello. Hello. What is your problem? Is that Bruno so, Mars? It's Bruno Mars. So, uh, what was that? That's Telly. Oh, that guy. Guy yeah. saying some awful things about me and Gina. What? Yeah, he must have seen us playing basketball or jumping on the mattress. Wh- what did he say? Telly. They're just some really stupid people in the world who can't stand to see it when people of different races are friends. Why not? I have no idea, Telly, but that was one of those awful people. Because Save Skin is brown and mine is white, he thinks we shouldn't be friends. It, it, it drove him nuts just to see us having fun together. What has color got to do with being friends? Nothing. Nothing yeah, at see, all. like that's the, point. The, the, that's the message good. here, the message here, yeah, this works a lot. That's better really good because yeah. it doesn't sound like you're indoctrinating a child. It's just a drunk man that forgot. <laughs> they forgot that about race. Yeah, I mean, Telly's just Telly's just an yeah, unemployed yeah. boozer. He just he's a milk no, addict. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I mean, he's, <laughs> he sits at the bar all day long drinking milk. That's, <laughs> they have like, a drunk on the show. That's yeah. pretty cool. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's skin is purple, right? And and, and mine is pink. Yeah. I mean. If it was up to that nut, if we were to listen to him, you and I couldn't be friends. Just, just look at our block on Sesame Street. There, there, there are brown people, there are pink people, not to mention every other color, right? There, there, there are monsters, there are penguins, there are grouches. And an from... eight-foot-tall yellow bird who's right. friends with everyone. Right. I wonder what that jerk thinks about that. I don't care what color anybody is. Oh, no. I just no. wish, I just wish I wasn't... <laughs> I just wish I wasn't such a fucking loser. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, poor Telly. I know, I know, I know you don't. I know you don't. So, look, we are... F- I'll be the drunk. I'm fun, fun, no. Yeah, and then you got a song in there. There's no song with the new thing. No. There's no song. You're not nerdy. It's the, I, I tell you, I'll, I'll, I gotta find the other one. But the one where... And we gotta move off the topic. I thought we were gonna... No, no, we can keep going, dude. I we gonna, pop off, I pop we, off. I, no, I can't. No more popping off. No, we could pop off. The Zoom meeting thing. This fucking Nashville dickhead <laughs> <laughs> sitting in his and on his on Who's his taking care MacBook of his kid? Pro. Yeah. This fucking dickhead. What is he doing? Why aren't you in Elmo's life? Elmo's dad should be a guy that works for the Department of Sanitation. That's right. You know. Mm-hmm. And he's like, 
He's like, Elmo, I got to keep my opinions about all this stuff to myself. Mm -hmm. You're a kid. You got to figure this out on your own. We can't put this shit on YouTube. It's not on you. Yeah. Yeah. We can't. It's not on you to figure it out, Elmo. You're supposed to be outside playing with your friends, but the world got fucked up because of adults. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's not your fault, yeah, that you inherited this gotta shit. Keep it quiet before they send me to to, to Sesame Island. <laughs> the send, Rock. They send me to Sesame Island in the middle of the Hudson. Across the country, people of color, especially in the black community, are being treated unfairly because of how they look, their their culture, race, and who they are. What we are seeing is people saying enough is enough. They want to end racism. Look, if you look at the tonality of the Sesame mm-hmm. Street, everything becomes like that's the thing that bothers me is because it like it's not entertainment. It's not even educational. It it feels like right. workplace instruction. I see what you're saying. And in 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 and like according to the same people that, that clap at this shit, mm-hmm. like isn't all of this like emotional labor to yeah. like explain? Like, don't you consider that work? Like, you're yeah. basically making a child do work. Right. That is, this is the 2020 equivalent of, like, making a kid go sweep up a factory in mm-hmm. the 1800s. Oh, yeah. There's literally no difference. There's zero difference. Put a fucking song in there. <laughs> Put a fucking song. That's right. A, a, D is for don't be racist. Right. You know, like, do something. Mm-hmm. It's not a Zoom call between Elmo and his estranged father <laughs> explaining the Black Lives Matter protest. <laughs> It's fucking insane. <laughs> this is what caused Nick to stop watching the show. It ruined, they ruined mm-hmm. Sesame Street. He lost Simpsons years ago. Yeah. And then a couple of years ago, he lost Sesame Street. Yeah. Yeah. I feel Infinitely bad for you, better. Really. Telly, a drunk, whatever. Just because you guys are different it almost, made me, it almost made me quit Hollywood. Quit, quit show business. But we're back. A, a protest is when people come together to show they are upset and disagree about something. They want to make others aware of the problem. I'm done, man. My pop-off days are over. I'm saying on safe targets, like, mm-hmm. changes to the Sesame Street cast. <laughs> <laughs> I, will go, I will not go any more controversial than that. I promise you. Uh-huh. About how Elmo's father is a... He's a loser. A dude. loser homosexual. <laughs> he's not even a homosexual. He's been lying about living, being in a band. No, he's just a fucking drug addict loser. Oh, a guy just baby. with a roommate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, he's been lying about getting the album out. Mm-hmm. It's kind of, it's kind of beautiful yeah. in many ways. Yeah, Telly's an old school alcoholic. Nothing romantic about it. He was a loser in school. Mm-hmm. Probably autistic. Right. Just a guy that ended up drinking at like a bar that looks like a train station. Fell through the cracks. Yeah. Yeah. Never knew. Doesn't even know he's balding. <laughs> he's got like four hairs just left on his yeah. head. Doesn't know what racism is. He has to be taught he's ra- as oblivious, about racism. He's as oblivious to racism as he is to his own disheveled, pathetic state. <laughs> and that's what's beautiful about Tally. <laughs> is that, that racism is just an other, another mm-hmm. unbeknownst ugliness in the world to him. Where you look at Telly and you think, this guy, it must suck to be him. Mm-hmm. He's a drunk. He's got no one in his life. He's at this bar yeah. sucking down milk every day, killing himself. Yeah. And that is ugly. But it's, if he doesn't see that... He also doesn't see things like fucking racism or hatred in the world. Right. He's just a simple guy. Mm-hmm. And it shows you the humanity in somebody like Telly. And that was and then he sings a nice song about it. Yeah. And Telly doesn't even know you're gonna die one day. Yeah. Yeah. He hasn't even con had he doesn't have a concept of eternal darkness. Well, obviously he doesn't understand that or he wouldn't be drinking milk fucking all day long. Yeah. I know. God. Yeah. It's a sad story, but it's important for kids to see it. Telly's a beautiful man. He kind of is. Yeah. We're going to have him as a guest on the Adam Friedland Show. We got show. Telly and Lori Beth Denberg <laughs> coming up on the next Adam Friedland Show. The intellectual pivot from Come Town to Come Town Nights. Yeah. The Adam Friedland Show, a.k.a. All right, folks. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Bye. We'll see you Wednesday.